okay so uh, you are uh, seeing the various sops uh, on your pre education so how these are to be prepared for fpm programs this video is related to uh, one such sop statement of purpose research proposal for fpm program in i am uh, uh, bangalore and that is related to project management you know uh, project management kind of domains you can apply through different uh, branches of engineering and uh, project management is quite important domain for mechanical even civil engineers electrical engineers those who have done some kind of project so uh, you need to write in your sop why you think you want to go to uh, fpm first uh, because this is a phd program so you are interested in this from here you understood that you have interest in project management and why i am bangalore so those kind of things should be there now on your pdf we are discussing with you how the sop must be written though these are not the final drafts so there has to be tailor made input from your side uh, in uh, sops but still on the basis of uh, the sops prepared by our mentors for uh, our students we are sharing with you some of the sops which may be helpful for you uh, and you may make your research proposal in that direction so let me share with you and discuss with you one such uh, research proposal which was prepared for project management in i am bangalore so let's go for this so uh, your sop should start with you know if uh, there is some particular domain like project management maybe you can mention what is the significance of project management and uh, uh, why you think that project management is important domain to work in so you are mentioning about that project is all about you know uh, getting the things done and uh, uh, doing some kind of group of activities and for doing the activities there is some kind of resources you have to utilize and optimum use of utilization of the resources is very important and then you are uh, actually civil engineer you mentioned about the various resources manpower material money machine etc and then you are saying as civil engineer you believe that uh, you know your focus should be on these optimum techniques and efficient use of the resources and uh, encouraging the sustainability at all the levels so you have brought your civil engineering domain and why you think you are suitable for this project management and then you are talking about uh, you know uh, institutes like iims where uh, the faculties are already handling the project i am very sure you have gone through the profile of the professors you have seen the research paper by the professors and then you are talking about that okay fellowship program in iim bangalore is a great opportunity because uh, i have seen the labs and research facilities in that iim and uh, numerous projects are being done by the professors in that and then you also mention about some of the professor there and uh, of uh, production and operation management so that is the name of the department production and operation management and then is you mention that in which domain is working uh, disaster inventory system uh, uh, perishable product disaster inventory system so you are mentioning about the work which he is doing and maybe you have gone through these research papers or research work and then you are interested in this so then you talk about india that what is the significance once you do your fellowship program in management then what is the significance how you can contribute to the society back and you can utilize the resources in a scarce resources in a very efficient way so that is all you are talking about so this will provide you great opportunity fellowship program will provide you great opportunity to work and explore further that is how you have mentioned so as i discuss in every uh, you know sop uh, uh, you should have some kind of ingredients in every video we have discussed that some ingredients which are required in sop which professor looks for uh, is like uh, why you think you want fpm what is the reason and how you are suitable for that if you are talking about project management how you are suitable uh, how you think you are inclined for project management what is your background uh, in project management once you do uh, your fpm from uh, i am bangalore what would you like to do in which area would you like to work so why i am bangalore only have you seen the research work of some professors in this institute and that is a reason you are interested in this why i am bangalore that is another reason so in these domains you have to write you know sop and it should flow so if they identify the passion in you for i am bangalore and uh, if somewhere you justify that this is the institute in which you want to do and this is the research area you want to do then i think uh, they will take you so this is how you have to justify your interest for this i am i hope this is clear to you so we have already uploaded couple of uh, you know sops for fpm programs and i am just see those uh, uh, sops and you have to make your own tailor made sop for you and they will shortlist you on the basis of that Hope you understood this. Keep watching your video. Thank you.